I'm just going to do a quick guide for how to set up target caspar and caspar replacement. A couple of add-ons for Rift. So uh, the first one we're going to do is target caspar. So TCB config, and it'll bring up a nice movable bar. You can drag that around with your mouse. I'm going to set the scale a little bit bigger. It's a bit small, so I'm going to set it to 1.4 and that'll fit nicely here between myself and my target. The next thing that I'm going to do is change the color. I'll include all of the commands to do this in the uh, description below the video. Uh, but basically the format is slash TCB space COL for color, uh, B for bar color, I for interruptible bars, it's set on an RGB, a red, green, blue scale. I'm going to give you some values again below the bar to set interruptible spells to green for you're good to go, you can interrupt that, and red for spells that can't be interrupted. And it just makes it a lot easier. You can set them to other colors if you want, but I'm going to be using red and green. So the first set of values will be 0, 1, 0. To get that is green for interruptible. So the bar goes a nice green there. I'm also going to change the text color, which is TCB, COL for color, T for text, I for interruptible, and then I want it white, so it's just one, space, one, space, one. And uh, that will change the text white for me. Uh, you can change that if you want. I tried black, but white tends to show a little better, especially when you're in a dark place like uh, Harmonel. Okay, so I'm going to quickly type in a couple of other values here, which you can't see, but trust me, they're being typed in. That's for the uh, uninterruptible. I'm going to set that to red. And I'm going to set the text for that to white as well. Uh, it shows up better than black. Now, I can't unfortunately demo this for you because no player has a non-interruptible spell that I'm aware of to test it for you, otherwise I would show you. But trust me, it is currently set to red. If you just have a look down here where my mouse is, you can see that the red for non-interruptible spells has been set to red, a value of 1, green 0, blue 0. So that will give you a nice red bar. Now that we've got all the colors set up, I'm just going to uh, TCB config again, and that will lock that one away. Um, in fact, I tell you what, we'll bring that back so that we can have a look at it in relation to my slash cbr config. This is my caspar, caspar replacement. All right, it's a little small, so again, I'm going to be cbr scale, and we'll make it about 1.35. Not as big as the other one. Oh, apparently it almost is. Scale that down a bit. Remember, I'm fitting them between myself and my target. So, one moment. CBR scale 1.3. I want it a little bit smaller. I want to be able to see what I'm casting, but what I'm casting is nowhere near as important as what the enemy is casting. In fact, let me get the one a bit bigger. nicely. I'm going to bring them down a little bit as well. Uh, they are transparent once uh, this comes down when you're channeling or casting. So don't worry about not being able to see your feet. Okay, uh, back to the cast bar replacement. I've set the scale. The only You don't have any non-interruptible spells, so I'm not going to play with that. So uh, bar interruptible and I'm going to set that to blue just so that it's different from the red and green of what my target is casting. So that goes blue and then I'm going to set the color of the text for interruptibles to white 111 on the red, green, blue values and that will give me white text which will show up nicely and then again with the config to lock that away and I will just uh, lock them both away and show you them. So if I just cast a spell on myself now, you can see natural healing being cast. It's green because it's interruptible. And it's blue for my own cast bar, just to differentiate it. 
If I was casting something that wasn't interruptible, that would show up as red. This is really useful for bosses. That's a nice, big, bright bar. If I'm on something like uh, Matron, where I want to reflect the hideous blast, I can use the colour of that bar to tell me whether it's a good time to be casting natural conversion or not, uh, or whether I should be, or even can, interrupt a spell. Uh, and it makes the bars really obvious. A fight like Sycharon, where he's casting Hex, lets me know that I uh, need to be cleansing in a moment. There's a million uses for it, and it is so much more clear and obvious than the crappy, tiny little cast bars that we get above our targets. So that's how you set it up. I will include links to the add-ons and all of the slash commands that I use to set that up.